guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs, and today I'm going to show y'all how I made this like Milky Way uh, leopard print tumbler. I'm not <laughs> exactly sure what to call it yet, but um, all I did was use some acrylic paints and some glitter, of course, and epoxy, and it was pretty simple. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Here we go. So I'm starting by putting Mod Podge on my tumbler, and I went ahead and put a good bit on. I didn't realize I wasn't recording, but <laughs> sorry. But I was saying that I'm putting on a pretty generous coat because I'm working with more than one glitter, and this dries pretty quick, so I'm trying to kind of pack it on just so it doesn't dry. And I am just putting on my glitter in the same way that I sprayed the paint on. Um, I am just turning it as I'm letting it fall. Making sure I've got all of my gold covered here. Tap off the excess. Trying to work quick because like I said, it dries pretty quickly. Stuff like this, I'm sure it's probably best to do the epoxy method, but I've just always not liked doing that. I don't wanna say hate it, but I've just always not preferred the epoxy method. So now this is boysenberry and doing the same thing. I'm just going to cover the bottom with this boysenberry too because I love it so much. So the last one I have is the Emerald Eye. I'm going to try to hurry and get this put back. I love using wax paper too to catch my glitter. I feel like everything just comes off of it so easy. And whatever doesn't, then you can just fling it off onto the floor like I do. <laughs> So I'm kind of like intentionally making the collars touch to try to blend them a little bit better. Um, even though I'm gonna have some acrylic paints and stuff going over it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm going to let all of this dry like the Mod Podge and everything and then put it on the turner with some epoxy. So here we are the next day, and it's got one coat of epoxy on here. It looks like a hot mess, but it's going to look cute soon, I promise. And what do you guys think about my new background? I got it today in the mail. I like it. Um, I thought it looked kind of like Easter-y with like, the collar scheme. So um, yeah, I hope you guys like it too. So what we're going to do next is add the cheetah spots. I'm going to put them on the gold, but if some of them kind of like get on the um, boysenberry glitter, like that's totally fine. So... I'm going to be using Mod Podge and glitter, so here we go. So I actually took the sanding block that I got from Amazon, and I'll make sure to put the link for these down in my description because I love them. But I sanded down this gold pretty good because, I mean, it's chunky glitter with one coat of epoxy. So it was kind of rough, and that smoothed it out pretty good. So for the inside of the spots, I'm going to be using this brown glitter, and I've had it in this cup for a while, but I do know for a fact I got it from the glitter guy. Um... I got it back in the fall and it was in like his fall collection. I think the name might have had coffee in it. I'm not totally sure. I'll try to look it up and then put the exact one down in the description. 
And then for the black parts around the brown glitter, I'm going to be using Twilight from the Glitter Grind. I feel like this is like perfect for the cheetah spots because it is a really, really, really dark black. Um, I did a tumbler a while back and I did hand paint some cheetah spots on it and I used a different shade of black glitter from the Glitter Grind and a few people said they wish it was a little bit darker. So now I have this one and I think it'll be perfect. So... I'm going to use just a small brush with some Mod Podge and just kind of randomly put some, I don't want to say globs, but not like perfect spots. You don't want them to be perfect. So don't, you know, put too much thought into it. Um, just dab your Mod Podge on there. And then I'm going to pour this brown glitter over everything I just Mod Podged. So now this is what I have so far. Now I'm gonna take this really rough brush and very carefully try to avoid actually brushing them over the spots I just did. But kind of clean up around them because I want to seal this and I don't want to seal all of that like random glitter where it's at. I want that to be gone. So now I'm going to seal this with Rust-Oleum 2 times clear and then I'll come back to do the outer parts of the spots. Okay, so this is good and dry. I'm gonna go in with this really, really tiny brush and some Mod Podge. And I'm pretty much just outlining bits and pieces of each little brown spot of glitter here. I'm not outlining the entire thing, like I'm doing pretty much like a little bit of each side. Then I'm gonna go in with my Twilight from the Glitter Grind. Go ahead and brush that off so you can really see what it looks like. And there we go. So now I'm going to continue doing that to all of these spots here until all of them have a little bit of like black outlining. The next step I put some epoxy on the tumbler here and I have what's left over of my epoxy and I put some apple barrel acrylic paint in this one to make a burgundy and then a gold acrylic paint that's actually from Dollar General so I think I actually might have mixed up too much paint in this one because that's what it's turned my epoxy into if you can tell it's just like really really thick but I'm gonna try to roll with it so, I'm just going to take some of this burgundy epoxy and kind of string it, because that's what it's turned into, um, string it along 
different parts of the tumbler and that really turns stringy that's crazy if you add too much acrylic paint to a tumbler or to a uh, some epoxy so now i'm going to go in with the gold and do pretty much the same thing but it is nowhere near as <laughs> stringy. And then I'm going to go in with my finger and kind of not really blend, but kind of make the lines a little messy. I do have y'all's cup of positivity for the day. Today's quote is, success is not how high you have climbed, but how you make a positive difference to the world. That was said by Roy T. Bennett. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is just something different that I wanted to kind of try out. And maybe next time I could do it with like some more bright colors, just mix it up a little bit. So that's all I have for you guys today. If y'all have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.